for folks out there that want to get a pool or you're moving into a home that has a pool, mm -hmm. there are so many different options out there that I didn't even realize. So you, you've got your pool um, and you have picked one specifically. It starts all the way from the inflatable pool and goes all the way up uh, yeah. to yeah. way like really expensive pools. Mm -hmm. Inflatables run you about what? So inflatable pools like uh, this one here, which is in a kit form that you would find at places like Canadian Tire or many different home centers. Uh, that one there could run anywhere from about $500, but there are some good inflatables yeah. or even some fun inflatables that could cost, you can buy at a dollar store. That's right? right. So sometimes just having that water is really accessible and a lot of the times it's just a budget that's going to determine, uh -huh. uh, space is going to determine also what kind of pool you're going to go towards and then longevity. How long do you want the pool to last? A lot of the times I'm going to tell people in terms of investment in your home, Mm -hmm. Sometimes a pool will not give you the return on investment back. Right. Uh, some it depends. If your buyer buying your home wants a pool, it's great. If that buyer doesn't want a pool, then it can be a, a real big hindrance too yeah. to a sale of a home. So this is the pool I grew up with. Yeah. Yeah. That's the pool. I was. This was like luxury in the 70s. I was anti pool because mm -hmm. my father growing up, my father said they take too much work, they take too much yeah. time. Now that there's saltwater pools, a lot less work that's involved. I was anti pool until I bought a house with a pool. Uh, yeah. And then when I bought a house with a pool and I have young kids, uh, it's amazing the amount of fun and the amount of time you'll spend back there. I can imagine. Okay, let's look at an above ground pool. So this will run you anywhere between 2K and 15K. Yeah. Uh, lots of advantages to this. Yeah, they can be installed in over a weekend. Some people can do nice. it themselves or you can get a crew that will come in. Yeah. Uh, you know, they don't take up a ton of space. They'll warm up pretty quickly because they're only one depth of water that you're going right. to have. Uh, we've all seen videos on YouTube of somebody leaning on the side of them when they're not <laughs> properly installed and they break. So in terms of how fragile they can be, yeah. that's somewhat of the downfall. Okay. Uh, so there is a downfall to that. Of course, the lawn underneath with inflatables and with even an above ground is just going to be shot after it is. the fact. Yeah. yeah, you can forget it after yeah. that. Lap pools or a swim spa will yeah. run you anywhere between 5K and 35K. So what would be the difference with this one? So this is uh, either a hot tub and or a swimming facility for you in a small space. This is yeah. what's happening and a lot of smaller backyards. What the advantage of this is, is that you have an area where you can relax, but also get fit. Right. So it, it has a current that you're swimming against and you're just swimming. So a lot of people out there now are putting swimming into their fitness. Uh, mm -hmm. Swimming is one of the best things that you could ever do for your for the joints. entire body. Mm -hmm. uh, people that swim up until their 80s and 90s. So it's uh, yeah. really a good thing to do. How long do I have to swim to have abs like that? Uh, a lot longer than what I did. <laughs> Okay, yeah. next, vinyl lined pools, about 30 to 50K, so we're getting up there with the price, but yeah. look at how gorgeous that is. Well, it's, all, it's also the price is determined upon size and yeah. also the accessibility to the backyard for equipment and things like that, uh, the retaining walls that have to be built around. The downfall of a vinyl pool is that you will have to replace the liner after a few years, or if mm -hmm. you have kids or dogs, if a dog goes in there and rips the liner, that liner is $5,000, could right. be around $5,000. My last pool that I owned was a liner pool, uh -huh. and that's why I chose a against the liner pool on the home that I currently have when I did the installation. Okay, so right now, have you got a fiberglass? I went to a fiberglass pool. Okay, so uh, that's what this looks like right here. And this is gonna run you anywhere between 40 and 65 uh, K. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It has ledges on each side. So there's yeah. a seating ledge on the far side of the kids. So there's no diving board. Mm -hmm. A lot of safety features with this. I don't have to worry if a dog jumps in there. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have to worry about the liners. I also have a cover that comes across that's an auto cover. Yeah. The auto cover the kids can walk across. The auto cover's on a keypad. Mm -hmm. So when it closes, I can lock the pool. So when they're teenagers, I can lock the pool, walk away, and they can't get in. Oh my gosh, that's so good. For their party. That's yeah. good. No yeah. pool party for you. I also have cameras on the pool as well, just yes. to keep an eye if they are getting in. Yes. Is that the pool I swam in, or did I swim in the other pool? You swam in the other pool. I swam in the other pool, yeah, which was also pool. beautiful. Yeah. That was lovely. Okay, now concrete. This is like the king, the queen of all the pools, uh, anywhere between sixty and $100,000. Yeah, so you can do any shape. That's the benefit. Yeah of a concrete pool. You could even have it where you could walk right into the pool, so almost like a beach that you could walk in. Uh, this is all for higher end homes. They seem to want to go towards this. There is some maintenance involved. Right. Uh, there is a lot of cost involved, but it's it's permanent. It's a permanent space. Right. And, and a reminder, in later in life, after when you don't have kids, a lot of the times people are going to want to fill their pools in. Uh, a lot of the times That's they do true. after time. Uh, but now with salt water, salt water pools, uh, there's a lot less work involved uh, compared to the past. That's good. So technology has come up. 
Uh, and with that, prices as well, it all depends upon size always mm -hmm. and some of the complexities. No pool is the same, no backyard's the same. You have to check with your municipality to see if you're allowed to have a pool in your yard as well. Very true. Yeah. Make sure you follow the rules and pick the pool that suits you.